Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be making a, a snake game in Python. Now this is a classic game and I will be doing this in the Python version 3.8, but I will show you how to do it in I'll show you how to do it in uh, Python 2 as well. It, um it's very similar but there are some differences. Um and also um we will be using the turtle module. Now this module is very good if we want to make a nice arcade games and it's very similar Simple to structureize as well, um, and also this video will be this um, snake game will cover many concepts that we have learnt about throughout this course. So, um, so it's uh, so um, you will have good practice. So um, I'm going to be doing this on my Python project, but first I need to give you a preview. Okay, so let's actually hop on to our Python project. Okay, so here I am, um, and this is a snake game. Okay, so I'm going to run it again. So here is, uh, whoops, where did that go now? Let me just find it. So here it is. Um, and basically, what, what, um, let me just, okay, so here is my snake game. And basically, what this game does is it's a very nice, simple game with simple graphics, but it's really fun at the same time. So, oh, wait, what just happened here? So you need to collect uh, food, which are these red circles over here. And every time you collect food, you get bigger and bigger. And um, every time you crash into a body like this, you lose um, your whole body and you only have your head and your score goes to zero. But you also have a high score and it is kind of nice to have a high score. And your score keeps on increasing every time. Uh, every time you um, your co your score increases every time you collect food and um, increase your body. Now, also you cannot um, you cannot go back on yourself because that is what a normal snake does. Um, and maybe I might be able to demonstrate this. So you uh, can't. Um, uh, so like a normal snake, this is a snake game and you can't run back on yourself because snakes don't do that. So let's actually go on to coding the game. See you. Okay, so here I am and um, obviously, uh, as I told you, we um, are using the turtle module. Okay, now um, this module is really helpful because that is the main module that will give us all of our graphics. So obviously we want we want to import turtle. So I'm going to type in import turtle. Now this this uh, module does not need anything like installation or anything because it's a built-in module and um, and built-in modules do not need to be installed. So. Um, I've typed in import turtle and the first thing we need to do is we actually need to set up our screen okay so this is super important because we will we won't have anything to play our game on if we don't have a screen so I'm going to create a variable called wn so I'm um, this is short for window and it's called w so I put in wn and um, I'm going to say wn is equal to turtle dot screen okay so um let me just change this title so python is k sensitive so you need to put in a capital letter for screen because this screen over here has a class and it has many methods we can access if we call this class so the first method we're going to use uh, in a screen on our window is title so window dot title okay um so the title is basically what our game is called and it will be displayed at the top of the screen and now i'm just going to call this snake game okay so very simple name you can name it whatever you want but i'm just going to call it snake game and i'm going to say uh window.bg color now this is short for background color um but they just um turtle just call it bg color and we need to put in black well you don't have to but i put in black because i like that that color is really nice on screens um and after you've done your background color you need to you can size your screen so i'm going to say when 
wn or window dot setup now this uh, this will allow us to um set up our screen so size it wh where whatever you we want to size it to so width um so i'm going to set my width to 600 and i'm also going to set my height to 600 okay um and also after you've done that you need to write window or wn or whatever your variable is called dot tracer now this will make sure it animates your screen um now we're gonna set to zero because we haven't got any animation for our screen so if we run this something just comes up and disappears so what we want to do is we are going to use uh, we're just going to type in wn.main loop so this will just make sure we can see our screen so here you can see we've got our nice black screen it's uh this is how i wanted it to be um you can increase it but this won't actually affect the screen because if you run it again uh stop and rewind if you run it again it'll just be this size over here um so now as you saw we just created a screen and now we need to set up our player and this will only be the snake head because um our player will only have a head when it starts so i will be using a lot of comments in this video so it's more organized so i'm gonna say whoops i'm gonna say snake head and here i need to i'm going to create a variable called head so short for snake head I'm going to put in turtle dot turtle. So again, uh, you, you need to remember that Python is case sensitive. So you need, we need to access the turtle class. So um, uh, Python knows that uh, our head uh, is a turtle object. So I'm going to say head dot speed. I'm going to set this to zero. Now this is an the actual speed of how the R head moves. This is just the speed of the animation. So, uh, in uh, some in this is actually the fastest speed for us. So zero. Um, so you don't need to change it to anything. And then I'm gonna say head dot shape because we need a particular shape for our head. I'm going to put set this to square. You can set this to triangle or circle or anything, but I like square, so I'm gonna put in square. Um, now, after you've done that, uh, you need to set a color. Otherwise, it will just be set to white. So I'm going to be putting head dot. Um, let's say I'm going to say head dot color. I'm going to um, set it to blue, as you saw in the preview. Um, and then also we need to write head dot pen up. So this will just make sure this um, just make sure that we don't see the process of process of the head being drawn. OK, um, and also we need to put in head dot go to. Now, what this will do is it will position our head for us. So I'm going to set this to zero zero. So um, so we don't. So this will be set in the middle. So if I run this. You notice you will notice that our um, head isn't there. So this is because um, we need to update our screen. So I'm going to create something called a. Well, actually, let's put another line. I'm going to create something called a main game loop. Now you always want this if you want to function your game um and you want it to actually work so in our main game loop what i want to type in is i want to say while whoops what happened there while true so i'm just going to write this in so while true um i want to sorry about my master so while true i want to type in wn dot update so update our window every time we make like an update so like add a head or add something else so now you can see this is highlighted in yellow that's because we don't need it so if we just take that away and now if we run it here we've got our head so our head is a nice blue square over here now obviously in the snake game we need to move our 
um, head. Um, and and this we this will make the game more exciting. So this is actually very quite simple, but it's uh, quite it's sometimes a long process as well. So before we do that, I'm going to say head dot direction is equal to stop. Now I said it to stop because the head is not moving anywhere right now. And also our head dot direction will keep track of our the direction our head is going. Um, and now we want to create some uh, functions so we can move our head. Now the first function I'm going to create is going to be called move. Okay, so this one will actually move our player depending on the direction of um, depending on the value of our direction. So I'm going to say def move. This will not take any parameters, and then I'm going to say um, I'm going to say uh, um, if whoops if head dot dire whoops if head dot direction is equal to up. So if it's equal to up. Then I want to. I'm going to say y is equal to head dot y cos. So this is going to be equal to the y coordinate of our head. And I'm going to say head dot set y. Um, I'm going to put in y plus twenty. Now what this one is going to do is going to move our snake up whenever head dot direction is equal to up. So if we if we look at this up if we put that as up whoops i don't know what happened there so let me just close that and fix it okay so the reason it wasn't moving is because we didn't actually call the function so i need to actually call move before i run it and you can see it it um our snake isn't our head isn't there that is because it was so fast that we could even see it move Okay, so it moved right off the screen before you could even see it. Now this, um, now we want to delay that movement so it's slower. So here we need to import time. This is the time, not turtle, sorry. We want to import time. Now this module will uh, is a built-in module again, so you don't need to um, install it or anything. So it's very simple to use. Um, now here uh, I'm going to create a variable called delay before all the other variables. So delay, I'm going to set it to 0 0.1. So depending on your computer speed, you can set it. You need, you can play around with this until you get the correct one. And then down here on the move or wherever, or wherever you want over here, um, you can you need to write in time dot sleep so it will kind of delay our thing our snake for a bit the um for like each second um and we want to delay it by the value of delay so now if we actually run this we can actually see our snake moving and that is the speed we want so now we know that this works we we can uh copy these if statements like this now we are not going to be using elif or else but um because we don't really need that in turtle so if i just copy and paste this four times there we go so i've done that and now i need to tweak um each one a bit so if the head dot direction is equal to down this time y is equal to head dot y coordinate and we need to say head dot set y um, and we're going to put in y minus, sorry, not times, y minus 20. So it moves, uh, it doesn't move up, it moves down because that is the opposite. And here I'm going to say if the head dot direction is equal to left, instead of y, I'm going to put in x. And then instead of y, I'm going to put in x. Um, and here I'm going to say head dot set x. And then instead of putting x, uh, instead of putting y over here, I'm going to put x, and uh, not plus 20, minus 20, so it moves left. So left is obviously this way if you look at my cursor. Um, and here, uh, instead of up again, it's right instead of left. Um, and again, I need to say y. It's x instead. Y core, x core. Uh, set y, set x. 
minutes and then x plus 20 okay so you don't need to change that to minus or anything just leave it like that so now if we test out all of these so instead of putting whoops so instead of putting up i'm gonna put in down and run this okay so that's moving down if i put in right uh it's moving right so beautiful um if i put in left and run this it's moving left okay so that's all working but um the annoying thing is we don't want to keep on changing these commands whenever we want to move our um uh, our snake head so we need to find some more functions so i'm going to say i'm just going to put in two lines there so i'm going to say def um go up. now this one will uh, det um, ch uh this one is only for going up so it this function is going to change head dot direction it's going to change this to up for us and then if we cop if we when we call this function it will change it to uh up but first i'm going to copy this four times And then just tweak it a bit. So I'm going to say go up. I'm going to say go down. And here it's going, instead of um, changing it to up, it's going to change it to down. And then not go up, go left. And then change this one to left. And then not go up, go right. And then it'll cha we'll change this one to right. Okay. So now we need to actually detect when a key is pressed so we can call these functions. So this is where we um, introduce something called keyboard binding. Now keyboard binding is important when you're using um, the turtle module because otherwise you won't be able to actually move your player. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to comment keyboard, whoops, keyboard bindings okay so this will actually bind each function to each um to each um key uh key that is pressed so before we actually bind our keys we need to type in wn so and then wn dot listen so we want our window to listen to like key presses so i'm going to say um what i'm going to say here is i'm going to say whoops let me just let my cursor get into the screen so what i want to say here is uh not wn yeah actually wn wn dot on key press oops on key press now you can only do this in um you can only do this in python you can only do this in python 3 it won't work in python 2 so if you're doing this in python 2 instead of putting on key press you need to put in on key but I'm going to put in onkey press because I'm in Python 3. Um, and if you put in like onkey or onkey press, you need to put in two parameters. So the first one is the function that you want to run when a key is pressed. So I'm going, I want to run go up. So you don't need the brackets. I want to run go up when the up key is pressed so you need to put in a capital u or a capital d or a capital l or a capital r if you want to use the arrow keys otherwise if you're using w a s and d you just need to put in lowercase w lowercase a lowercase s or lowercase d but i'm going to use the arrow keys and i can just uh copy and paste this line so let me just uh copy that paste that and now we need to tweak it so instead of go up it's go down and then we change this to down and instead of go up again it's go left and this will be for the left arrow key and this one is go right and this will be when what this will be this will be binded to the right arrow key. So now let's run it and see what happens. So I'm using my arrow keys right now, and this is working out perfectly. Oh, my snake is moving whenever I press my arrow keys, and it's working beautifully. 
so now we have done the keyboard movement now what we need to do next is we want to put in our food now that food were all the circles that were there when um the food was all the circles that were there when i um what was it when when i was trying to collect it so all of those red circles um they were my food and i had to collect them didn't i because in that's what happens in the snake game okay so what i want to do is right here uh, yeah right here between update and move you can put it anywhere you want but i'm gonna put it here so right here i'm gonna write um oops let me just get my cursor back here whoops let me just do this sorry about this delay guys i'm just uh, having a problem here okay so here i am back again so sorry about that over there so here under window update and move or anywhere you want but in the main game loop you need to type in uh so actually you don't need to type that in actually sorry about that over there at when we up here so obviously before we actually write any code we want to actually make we want we want to actually make our food so i'm gonna put in and comment food okay so once i do that i'm going to write i'm going to say actually we don't need to do that we can copy and paste this over here but then we need to tweak it again so um instead of head i'm going to call this food um so food food bear with me this sometimes takes a long time when you're renaming like this so okay so i've done that and now we don't need this direction because our food is not going anywhere so we don't need to do that and instead of zero zero i'm going to place it at zero one hundred so it doesn't overlap our player um i'm going to put i'm going to set the color to red and also i'm going to change the shape to a circle okay um now if we run this we've got our food over here now we are not actually collecting it so that now we need to write some code for that actually so if i go down here and now between update and move so i'd prefer putting it there because it's easier so between update and move we know we want we want to work out whether we have collided with food or not so i'm going to write down check for collision with food okay so here we're going to check for collision with the food i'm going to say if head dot distance so the reason i put in distance is because i'm going to uh check um if it has collided um depending on the distance so if the distance between the head and the food is less than 20 so if it's less than 20 what i want to do so if it's less than 20 it, it has obviously collided um so if it has collided i want to say x is equal to random dot randint it's not random randint and basically um this is coming up this red line is coming up because i haven't actually imported the random module so let's do that quickly over here import random so again this is a built-in module so you don't need to install it or anything so if we go down here the red line has gone so random dot randint so what randint does is it finds an integer depending on uh, it finds an integer within a range so my range is going to be minus 290 um and 290 so this will be within the actual screen that we are looking at when we play so the screen will be this bit so it that will be where the the food will spawn somewhere there um and then since we've created the x coordinate we can just copy and paste that down here and then change x to y instead and now we've got our x and y coordinate the reason i created this is because when the 
when our player collides with the food we want the food to move to a random place within this range so um the random dot random method will basically just um pick out a random x and y within this range and um make sure the food goes there so we want our food to go to um to that x and y position so i'm going to run this and if i do that our food is going to random positions okay so this is working pretty well now we want to actually um we want to actually um increase a bo we want to actually increase the body of our snake whenever it um whenever it collides with the food so what i'm going to do is right under food I'm going to put in something called segments. Now these segments are basically going to be a part of body that increases the snake. So I'm going to put segments to an empty list. Now the reason I'm doing this is so um, I'm not setting it to a tuple because if you set it to tuple, you can't append anything. Now I'm putting this in a list so we can append each segment to this list and then add it to the snake. So right here under food, I'm going to put in a comment saying add a segment. So we're going to add a segment to our list of segments. Um, so I'm going to say uh, a new segment. So a segment that is added to our list. New segment is equal to turtle. Whoops, sorry, some spelling errors here turtle dot turtle okay so we need to know that this is a turtle object so we can use the turtle methods um and i'm going to say new segment actually if you don't if you don't want to waste your time on this you can just um you can go to food over here so where's food you can go to food copy that then go down to here. Okay, so over here. And you would have copied this. So if I just tab this, okay. So um, instead of changing it to food, we want to change it to new segment. Okay. And then new. Now this is quite annoying, but um, I'll just finish this up. Okay, so I set up the new segment, so I just renamed them all to new segment. Um, and what we want to do is we want to set the speed of our new segment to zero. And I'm going to put the shape as square, because I want the shape to be a square. Um, and also, um, I'm going to change the color to gray, not blue, so it um, stands out. So we all know that it's a state segment. Um, and also, uh, we are going to take out new segment dot go to because we don't want it to go anywhere. Because um, we are all we're going to do is what we want instead of uh, making it go to anywhere, we're going to say segments dot append new segment. Now this one, what it will do is it it's going to append a new segment to our list of segments. Now let's see this in action. So whenever we collect something, we have our new segment and uh, every time we keep on collecting food, a new segment will appear. Now you can't see that because it's basically all the segments are overlapping against each other. So let me just finish up this. OK, there we go. Um, so now we want to actually add the segment to our snake's body. So in line with this over here. Um, what we want to do is uh, I'm going to uh, we want to move the segment somewhere. So we want to get um, ready bef before we actually add it to uh, our snake head. So I'm so here we I'm just going to write down get ready to add segment. Sorry about that spelling. So typos there segments there we go um uh so here we need to put it in line with that okay so we will not we are going to put we need to put it in line with our if statement over here now i'm going to say 
for index in range for index in range and then I'm going to put in the length of my segments uh, minus one zero minus one now this may look confusing but all it's going to do is it's just gonna it's going to uh, get ready to add the segment so it's going to move the last it's going to move the last segment uh, to the position of the next second to last segment and then that second to last segment will move to the position of the segment before that so on and so forth so after we've written that i'm going to say x is equal to segment um, and then i'm going to put in index index minus one Okay, so this will just like set the position so we're ready to add to um, add to our snake head and we can just copy this line over here um, and tweak it down here so instead of x we can set it to y instead of x core we can set it to y core okay um, and after we have done that I'm going to say segments and in brackets put in index um, and it's going to go to uh, it's going to go to x and y okay so remember this is getting ready to add to the snake's head and after that we actually want to add to snake's head okay so let me just put in my apostrophe over there over there so yeah uh, i'm going to say if the length of my segment so if the length of my segments list if it is if it is um larger than zero that obviously means there's segments that we need to add to a snake's head so if it is larger than zero what we want to do is um i'm going to say x is equal to the uh, the x coordinate of our head and then y is equal to the y coordinate of our head um, and obviously we just want our segment we want our segment sorry um, so we want our first segment to go to there so the others will follow after so I'm going to say segments um, they all need to go to they want to they need to go to x and y so let's actually test this out and see what happens so as you can see our segments have actually appeared on the back that is brilliant okay now that is just what we wanted so now let me just play this again now as you can see our uh, our player is just moving right off the screen and we haven't added any border to that and also we want if we want to do like if our um head uh, if our snake goes off uh collides with the edge of the screen what we want to do is we want to um what we want to do is we want to end the game and restart again so what i'm going to do is before our food collision i'm going to write check for collision on border so i mean like we need to check for the collision if it reaches the edge of the screen so we're going to make a border it will collide with so i'm going to say if head dot if the head dot so if the x coordinate of the head is larger than 290 or the x coordinate of the head is um or if the x coordinate of the head is smaller than minus 290 or so we're going to put a lot of conditions here or if the um or if the y coordinate of the head is um larger sorry not smaller if the y coordinate if the y coordinate of the head is larger than um 290 um or 
if the y coordinate of the whoops not heads or if the y coordinate of the head is um smaller than minus 290 these or if any of these conditions happen that obviously means that our snake has collided with the border so i'm going to i'm if it does collide with the with our screen border then i'm going to say time dot sleep so the reason i'm writing this is because so i'm going to delay it for one second i'm going to delay the thing for one second so it's going to stop everything that's happening and then we want head dot go to head dot go to um then we want to put it we want it to go to zero zero so back to the middle where it started and then we're going to say head dot direction is equal to stop now let's review what we actually did here so if any of these conditions happen that means that our snake has collided with the edge of the screen which is right here okay um and we want to delay our screen for one second um so, um so um it so we can so we can stop it and then after we have stopped it for one second we want to go back to where we started and stop and put set the direction to stop so we don't keep on going so let's see this in action if i go this way it stops and goes back to the middle okay now if i collect a segment and do, go off i my segments uh, has uh, my segment has over overlapped and it is there now so i have to move like that now that is not what i want to do so what if um i'm we want to hide the segments once it has uh, once our snake has died so i'm going to say hide the segments over here so we want to hide the segments now i'm going to say for every segment in segment whoops not segments so for every segment in segments so our list of segments I'm going to say segment segment dot go to I want it to go to 1000 and 1000 okay so let's see what happens when we when that happens so if we go off okay so that hasn't worked at all it hasn't done anything so a more so a more efficient way to do this is to um clear the segments list okay so don't take this away we're, all we're going to do is clear it after we have done this so if you're in python 2 uh, a way you can do this is say segments is equal to and then put in an empty list and that will clear your list for you or if you're in python 3 you can say um segments dot clear okay so we have a we have a method for that so we just need it we just clear our list okay so now let's see what happens if we do that okay so we've collided and there we go there's no segments attached to us now so now we have done that what we want to do now is make sure we don't collide with our body now because um if we do that then obviously we need to restart again so i'm going to do this after food you can do it or you can do it before here if you want but i'm just going to do it after food so after here i'm going to say i'm going to just type in check for body collisions so um you collide with your body when the segments touch the head and that and that is when we have to restart the game so i'm going to say for segment whoops for segment in segment okay so for every segment in segments if seg if segment dot distance 
um, and then we need to pass in head over here so if the distance between the segment and the head if it is smaller than 20 that means we have collide the head and the segment have collided so we want to uh what we can do here is we can just um where is that uh if we go to here we can copy and paste this over here so copy all of this and then after that we want to paste it here because uh the, the all we all we want to do is just let the same condition occur to when we collide with the border so let's um try that now so i'm just gonna collect okay so i don't know what happened there so we'll just okay so let's just check why that is happening so if segment dot distance head is smaller than 20 okay so um that is uh happening for some reason so maybe we put this over here so let me actually see why that is happening okay so um i i just um let me just find see why this is happening so i'm just gonna pause okay so here i figured out what had happened so as you can see here when we check for the collision with food um we put in our for and if statement and then we had our body collision now what our python interpreter uh, what our python interpreter thought is uh thought um was um that the food had to be collided with um the food had to also um perhaps the thought was that we had to collide with uh food and that also meant that we had to go back to the start as well now that is because we didn't put anything here to separate it now we don't need to because we've got a move over here so what we can do is we can take move and put it over here and um that will separate these for us and it will be nice and clear okay so let me just tap that there we go so that will be it will be very nice and clear so now if we see it isn't colliding with food anymore so we are getting it pretty good now if we collect more and more food you can see that we can we we are so um i am pressing the arrow keys right now and um i'm just collecting more segments sorry about that so i'm going to collect this segment over here and let's say i want to go back on my own body so um you can't do that so we don't want that to happen so we need to write some uh conditions for that first so um up here um so up here when we wrote go up uh go right and everything um up here o over there we want to write conditions uh we want to write a, a f one more condition for that so i'm going to say if head dot direction if it is not equal so not equal not equal remember that now so if it's not equal to down so obviously I, i'm just gonna put this there. so if it is not equal to down then uh we want to put uh we want to set our direction to up okay because we can't go down we can't a snake if you imagine like a normal snake can't go over its own body so we want to stop that from happening so we write in the statement now uh you can let's just copy and paste this um and there we and then we just we can just paste it here so the job will d be done more quicker tabs um we'll tweak it a bit uh, later so don't worry okay so we've tabbed everything so now we need to actually tweak this so if the head dot direction is equal to up then we want to go down if the head dot direction is not equal to right then we want to go left if it the head dot direction is not equal to left then we want to go right so now let's test it and you you see we can't go over our own body now 
so that is working perfectly now there is only one last thing we need to do now and here what we need to do is uh we need to put in a score now a score is really important if you want to make your game more exciting and keep track of your score so after delay i'm just gonna make this at the top you can put it wherever you like but i would uh prefer putting it here so i'm going to put in a comment saying score and then i'm going to put a variable called score and i'm going to set that to zero and also i'm going to make a variable called high score so because i want to put in a high score as well so i'm going to say score and high score i'm going to set that to zero as a default value okay so where do we want to actually print this high score okay so that is what we need to think about but before we do that we want to create something called a pen now what a pen will do for us is it will write down uh it will write down text for us so that's why we need to create a pen so i'm going to say pen i'm going to say pen is equal to tur turtle dot turtle so so we know that it's a turtle object and also i'm going to say pen dot speed so again this is the animation speed and also i want to say pen dot shape so this won't actually affect anything whatsoever we just need to put in that so you can put in whatever shape you want and it won't affect anything and also we we need to set a color that's mandatory so i'm going to say pen dot color i'm going to set that to white so it stands out nicely so why again this is optional you can put the shape to square circle it won't affect anything but the color will so you can put whatever color you want but make sure it's sensible and it stands out um and also we want to say pen dot pen up now what this will do is it um uh our python interpreter will make sure we don't see the pen actually uh writing down everything and we want our pen to go to a certain point so i'm going to say pen dot go to i want it to go to zero and 260 okay now what this this is going to um so it's going to position uh, our pen over here so in the middle and it's going to position our pen at the top somewhere in the middle and also we need to write something so pen dot write we need to put in what we want to write so i'm going to say score i'm going to set that to zero and then i'm going to put in high whoops i'm going to put in high score i'm also going to set that i'm just going to put that to zero okay so you can write uh you can put in uh you can write it however you like okay so i'm not saying you have to write it like that but i'm just writing mine like that and after you've written in your text what you need to do is you need to type in where you want to align it so you need to type in if you want to align it left or right or center so i'm going to align mine to the center so it's nice and even and also we need to put in the font so you need to put in brackets for font and you need to put in what font you want first so i'm going to put in Corea because this is a very nice font and i like it you can put in whatever font you want um as long as you know the name and uh, i need to put in the size so i'm going to put the size 24 so it's nice and big and also uh we i'm going to write in normal now what this will do um normal means like the style of my text so is it bold italic underlined i'm going to set mine to normal okay so now if we run this we see we've got a score and a high score okay so here you can see uh our pen just was shown so let me just see why that is happening over here so i wrote pen up let me just actually see what is that's happening because that doesn't normally happen so you saw that when i run this this square came up now that is because i didn't hide my pen so right before right after pen up i want so sorry right after pen up i want to type in pen dot 
hide turtle now basically this is going to hide our pen for us and now you can't see our pen so it says score and then high score so whoops what just happened there i just saw something happen so now if you now we want to actually uh, tell our um we want to tell python when we want our score to increase or decrease so the first area i want to do this is um i'm just going to, i want to increase my score when i collect food so i'm going to do this after segment so after i add a segment to my list so i'm going to do that here and um what i'm what i need what i'm going to write is i'm going to say okay so let me just uh think for a minute so what i want to do is i'm going to all i want to need to write is score plus equals 10 okay now i don't want to keep on repeating this line i don't want to keep on repeating this line again and again so um uh, after this move function i'm going to create a function called def I'm going to call it right score. Okay, so it'll save us a lot of time. Um, and what this right score function will do is it is going to um, it is going to do this. So I'm going to type in um, I'm going to type in uh, what is it again? Pen dot right. Um, I'm going to put f string format in pen dot right score i'm gonna put in curly braces and here i want to put in my score and then i'm not gonna put in a comma and then my high score i'm gonna put in curly braces again and put in my high score and again if you don't want to put in uh if you don't want to write a line and everything again a line and everything you can just copy this over here and paste it okay so that saves you time now let's instead of having to write uh, that code again we can just go under here so score plus equals 10 and put in whoops not that instead of that we can put in write score okay so that will save us a lot of time so now every time we collect a segment you can see that um look at that that looks horrible right now and that is not what we want so um in our write score function what we want to do is before pen dot write we want to clear the error we want our pen to clear everything that it wrote so i'm going to say pen dot clear and now whenever we collect a segment score changes to 10 and beautiful it is nice and clear to read okay so now since we have done this uh what we are um so uh after just between score and write score i'm going to put in an if statement now you'll see why so i'm going to say if score if the score is larger than the high score what i want to do is i want to say high score is equal to score okay so we can reset our high score to our score so now let's see what happens so i'm now my high score is 10 whoops and uh then it changes every time now if we die we don't want our score to stay like that so we want to reset our score so over here um over here uh we after collision with border i am going to i'm going to say uh so what i want to do is after i clear my segment i want to reset the score so i'm going to do that here i'm going to say i'm just going to reset the score is uh, i'm going to reset that to zero and then after that i want to write score 
Um, and same with when I um, when I touch my own body. I am just going to copy this code over here. So where is it? I'm going to copy this. And then paste it over there. So now let's see what happens when we die. So I'm just going to let it run straight off the border. Okay, so my score is then set to zero and my high score doesn't change. So if I run into this thing again, my high score does not change. Now that is pretty, pretty good. But um, look, as you uh, start getting a bigger body, um, you won't notice it, but your computer will start going, your, your, um, the speed of generating segments will go, will be slower and slower as you generate more segments. So we don't want that to happen. We want to stop that from happening. So, um, what we want to do is after right here near our score, so after, so right before score plus e equals 10. So let me just write before that. Increase score. So it's more clear. So right after here, I'm going, we, what we want to do is we want to shorten the delay. So it will, it will, um, our segments will uh, generate the same, will, will look like they're generating the same speed as they did when you started the game. So what we will do here is I'm going to say delay minus equals 0 0.001. Okay, so you only need a uh, minus 0 0.001. So when we die, we all start going even faster. You won't notice it, but we actually will be doing that. So before here, so before um, we reset the score again, I'm going to type in, um, I'm going to type in, uh, what should I type in actually? And just, I'm just thinking. What we want to do is, uh, what we want to do is you want to, reset the delay okay so we're going to we're going to say delay is equal to 0 0.1 again so you we just need to do that back down here again uh, so i'm going to type that in again reset the delay whoops reset the delay and then i'm going to say delay is equal to 0 0.1 so let's test our ending result because i'm sure that is all we needed so everything is working perfectly okay so everything is working really good so i'm going to try colliding okay so that works so now i'm going to try and run into my body so as you can see you can't go left and then right otherwise uh other and it won't work if you actually do that so i'm just gonna try and collide with the food sorry i'm not that good at this game some people aren't that good so um if i try and make myself longer so i'll meet you up when i do and i'll show you what will happen if we run into ourselves Okay, so I thought it'd be too hard if I did this, but if you did run into yourself, um, you would actually um, stop the game and it would work. Okay, so actually, good job, guys. I'm sure you did really well. I would really love to see your ending results. If you have any doubts on this game, please say in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Um, and um, again... Uh, I, I will put the code, um, I'll put all of this code in, uh, it, I'll put the link for all of this code in the description below, so you can review your code um, with mine if you uh, were stuck, so, and I guess that's the end of this video, bye!